Well, a possible trespasser takes himself to a hospital and an Eva Beach homeowner is behind bars. Police records state a 30-year-old man was caught on the suspect's property just after 6 Sunday morning. The 51-year-old man allegedly assaulted the victim with a dangerous instrument. District 8 patrol arrested the suspect for second-degree attempted murder. The victim managed to drive himself to a nearby hospital and he is listed in stable condition. Two dogs rescued from a Christmas Day fire on the windward side this morning and fire Firefighters, they were called out to Alawiki Street around 7.15 last night. Now, light smoke was seen coming from a back bedroom window. No one was home at the time, but firefighters say the neighbors watched the dogs until the owners returned. Well, the Thomas Fire, the largest in California history, now 86% contained with firefighters hoping to fully extinguish it by January. And with more than 281,000 acres charged since December 4th, the state's expecting a large number of displaced wildlife in the area and it's been brutal more than 1600 structures have been destroyed more than a thousand homes damaged it's also claimed the life of a firefighter with snow falling from seattle to maine it was a white christmas for millions across the country and this morning the winter weather isn't over yet abc's elizabeth Herr is in new york now with the latest well, a lifeguard shed at Makapu'u was vandalized again and thousands of dollars worth of rescue gear stolen Thursday night. It forced Ocean Safety to pull out backup equipment for the busy holiday weekend. A Christmas crime and it doesn't sit well with beachgoers. It's kind of unfortunate it happened, yeah, especially at this time of year, the holidays. Yeah, that's kind of not too cool. Now, according to Ocean Safety, this shed's been repeatedly vandalized over the past decade, even with locks and safety measures in place. Well, the Hawaii Tourism Authority owes the state money for the Hawaii Convention Center. State Department of Budget and Finance Director Wesley Machida told the Honolulu Star Advertiser that HTA has paid only $20 million for each of the past two fiscal years, and they're obligated to pay $26.4 million since 1999. HTA paid $490 million in principal and interest with a balance due of $277 million. If you're ready to take your Christmas tree down, the city and county of Honolulu offering ways to recycle it. If green waste collection is offered in your neighborhood, the tree can be placed in your green cart. Households with curbside collection can place their tree at the curb on their normal trash pickup day, but it has to be cut down into pieces no more than three feet long. And if you don't want to cut it up, well, you can drop your tree off at the Kapa'a Transfer Station in Kailua or at a center near your home. Trees can also be dropped off at the composting facility in Wahiawa, but they can't have any flocking or tinsel on them. And the holidays might have interrupted your trash day pickup yesterday, and the city says trash carts will be serviced later on this week, usually within two days. Recyclables won't be picked up until the next scheduled pickup date, and there will be no trash or recyclable pickup on New Year's Day, which is next Monday. Well, yesterday, Lindsay, we had a, a pretty nice Christmas. Oh, go right? gorgeous, gorgeous. No pressure there. Well, we do have a new royal on the way. That is Meghan Markle, and her Christmas this year was a whole new experience now that she is set to tie the knot with Prince Harry. ABC's Maggie Ruley has a look at how the royals and the new royal spent their Christmas day. Well, Arizona Cardinal Ride Receiver Larry Fitzgerald is paying a Christmas tribute to Senator John McCain, who is battling brain cancer. That's right. Fitzgerald penning an open letter published by Sports Illustrated offering prayers for the Arizona Republican, who is a big Cardinals fan. Now, in the letter, Fitzgerald recalls a 2013 visit to Vietnam where he toured the places where McCain was tortured as a prisoner of war. And as the letter notes, McCain spent six Christmas as a POW. The 81-year-old senator was diagnosed with a brain tumor in July. And check this out. Ipo, the oldest daughter of Hawaiian monk seal Honey Girl, was caught spending most of her Christmas napping on the beach. A marine expert says the monk seal was spotted at Punalu'u Beach about a week ago. Before that, she was spotted at Kaneohe Marine Corps Base and Kualoa. Now, this seal, who was born on Kauai, will sometimes be spotted with her mom, but so far has not been able to give birth to a live pup. Experts believe an injury from being hit by a boat when she was younger may be part of that problem. Well, best of luck to you. That's right. Yeah. Now, still